My name is Alyssa Shaw. I am a Johnston Community College student and I am currently studying Applied Engineering Technology. Uh, my name is Cesar Escobar. I'm an Applied Engineering student, student here at uh, Johnston Community College. One of the reasons I was so excited to be able to enter this field is because of how broad the opportunities were. I was able to explore so many different options and learn about myself and what I like to do and different skills that I like to do anything from welding to wiring. And so they've been able to really explore my interests and learn what skills I have and apply them to what I do today. I come from a construction background, so I wanted something different, something to uh, just a wide range of uh, experience. So I decided to come to Johnston Community College because I wanted to be able to have an application and a study that I could use and have life skills with. And I also needed to find out how to pay for college, and this was an affordable option. It was close to home while also being close to work, and I'm able to balance out the college and work life simultaneously. I came to Johnson Community College just because uh, it's very local. It's uh, right down the road, not far from where I live. And with the apprenticeship program, it seemed, seemed best fit for me. Everything is all touch screen. The uh, Applied Engineering program, it introduces a lot of various different courses from welding, electrical, to uh, computer, uh, computer programming, uh, machining. Something that I learned that I was not expecting to learn was actually SolidWorks and being able to use the online, the virtual drafting program. That was something that really piqued my interest and I've been able to use it a lot by 3D printing parts at work for machines and it's really been an enjoyable thing to learn learned a lot. It's been a very big contrast from high school where everything that I have been able to learn at college I've been able to apply to real life but whether it be welding I do welding a lot at my job or um, HVAC I work with the HVAC techs when they come in so everything that I have learned with the applied engineering degree has been able to be applicable to some portion of my job. I had the opportunity to join uh the apprenticeship program here at Johnson Community College and uh, currently employed as an apprentice at Nova Nordisk. Uh, what I do there, I currently uh, shadow, uh, help out technicians. Make you do schedule maintenance. So it's very practical in its sense. Trades are a diminishing area of the workforce. So there is a lot of job security if you enter into the trades. There's always going to be a need for trades, and so it's a really practical idea. And also it's a lot of hands-on. If you're like me, hands-on learning is the best way to learn, and there is nothing short of being hands-on with this degree. For those of you who might be considering applied engineering and industrial maintenance as a career option, Something that a lot of people don't realize is that it's a very broad spectrum. It's not one type of thing. I do anything from assisting with plumbing to IT while working with maintenance. And so it's a career where despite what skill sets you might have, there is absolutely at least some portion of industrial maintenance that you can apply your skills and your interests. I just wait on the screen and not I just wait near So the best experience that I've had throughout the uh, apprenticeship program is actually the people that I work with. The maintenance group that I work with is really tight-knit, um, really good, really helpful. They're always showing me uh, what to do, what not to do, and uh, overall, great group of friends that I've made, even though it's an older age group, but they really take me in really well. I would say if you're hesitant to enter this field, whether it be because you are a female or if you're younger, this field is really dominated by an older generation and they do it very well. But us as younger people, we're able to bring so much to the table and we were able to learn together and work collaboratively to be able to produce really wonderful ideas. I mean, my boss is 70 years old and I work with him on many projects. And so it's been a wonderful experience. So I would have to tell you if you're considering it, but you're hesitant because of your age or your gender, Really don't let that hold you back. There's so much that you can bring to the table and that we are able to teach each other with being with our differences. The back was shining through, make sure it's in there for you. Great.